welcome to five minutes on the go i'm so glad you've joined me this evening i want to continue talking about a man named cornelius you find him in acts chapter 10 and the bible says he was devout a god-fearing man as was everyone in his household he gave generously to the poor and prayed regularly to God. One afternoon about three o'clock he had a vision in which he saw an angel of God coming toward him. Cornelius, the angel said. Cornelius stared at him in terror. What is it, sir? He asked the angel and the angel replied, your prayers and gifts to the poor have been received by God as an offering. One translation says they've gone up as a memorial before God. In other words, Cornelius was known in heaven. If God had a refrigerator, Cornelius' picture would be on the refrigerator in heaven. Hey, something powerful. We talked about it the first week. How to be known in heaven. First of all is to be devoted. Second of all, it says that he was a God-fearing man. We talked about that last week. I want to talk to you for a moment today about how to be known in heaven by being generous. In the Bible, there's two ways of being generous. First of all, we're generous through our regular tithe and offering. The Bible tells us in Malachi 3 to bring all the tithe into the storehouse so there'll be enough food in my temple. And God said, if you do, I'll open the windows of heaven for you and pour out a blessing you won't have enough room to take in. God said, put me to the test. Your crops will be abundant. I'll guard them from insects and disease. Your grapes won't fall from the vine before they're ripe. Then all nations will call you blessed, says the Lord of heaven's armies. First of all, we want to give generously by being faithful to return the first tenth of our livelihood to God. When you get paid, that first money that you take ought to be the top 10% that goes to God into the storehouse. That's what God said. It was a practice of the early church as well as the Old Testament followers of God bring all the tithe into the storehouse. Second of all, we are taught to, to be faithful or to be generous by sowing seeds of giving over and above the tithe. You see, you give an offering when you've given your tithe. If you've not tithed, then you're not planting seed called offerings. You tithe first, and then over and above your tithe, you give offerings. 2 Corinthians 9, 10, and 11 says, It's God who provides seed for the farmer and bread to eat. In the same way, He'll provide and increase your resources and produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, you'll be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. And when we take your gifts to those who need them, they will always thank God. See, first of all, Cornelius was known in heaven because of his generosity. He knew what it meant to take those things that God had entrusted to him and give God the first fruits and then use what was left over to be generous to others. I want to encourage you today, friends. Start practicing generosity. Practice generosity. First of all, be faithful to God by giving Him the tithe. Bring all the tithe into the storehouse. And then secondly, sow generous seeds. If you sow generously, you'll reap generously. And God will bring increase so that you're able to even be more generous. And ultimately, God gets the praise. You want to be known in heaven? Practice generosity. Take what you have. Give God the first and then share with others out of what you have left. God will always make sure you have everything you need. Friends, 
I want to be on the front of God's refrigerator. How about you? Let's be generous. I love you. Have an amazing day.